Hello guys, welcome back to Fun Time Crafts 24-7. This is a let's make video. Uh, one of the view subscribers <laughs> or viewers uh, wanted to know if you could use the Dollar Tree um, fairy lights uh, to improvise as the lights for your card, like the easy lights. Uh, let me show you what those are actually. The easy lights or the Chibitronic lights. Um, there are these uh, here. So an easy light here has a built-in push button and it holds a battery. Uh, let's see, positive goes here. And you just slide, oh, whoops, right here. You slide the um, positive side up. Oh, but this these take a, this is a 2032 and these take a 2025. Um, so I can't. I can't actually um, show you how these work, but you slide the battery in there, and then you put it anywhere on your card. Um, you you tape it down underneath, and then you put a little, you know, sign that says, you know, like push, and they could push the button, and wherever you tape these onto the back of your card, they'll light your card up. Um, so they're generally on individual little strands, so you can tape them wherever you want. And so if I just wanted to illuminate the moon, I would tape them around the backside of the moon. And when they push the button, that's what would illuminate. Um, they come on three. They come on five. They come on one. I think one uh, strands. And um, they're a little bit expensive, but they're super fun, especially if you're wanting to do a special card. So um, the person that was asking about it, they couldn't find these. So And I buy I I bought mine off of... You can get them on Amazon, um, I believe scrapbook.com, um, I think Simon Says Stamp has them, Spellbinders has them, Spellbinders has them, um, and I think there's probably a few other places if you just type in Easy Lights, um, Easy Light, here, this is, that's the brand right there, Easy Light, uh, Pear Blossom. Press. Oh, if you go to their website too, pearblossompress.com, uh, you can get them on there as well. They're just a little bit expensive. But um, anyhow, so if you have any of these like um, this type of fairy lights where they have like the two strands with like the hot glued little light um, that goes into a power box that just has the two wires like this. You can basically use these and you can actually cut them off in like sections. Um, basically what you want to do, like say you just want to use this one light. What you would do is you cut it off and see they're all still working. Um, you can use that fairy light setup for something else. Like I was playing around with them and I cut off a blinking one, cut off a solid one and um you the you don't have to worry about the front, so you can trim that down to make it smaller, um, so it's not poking out. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to actually there is a coating on these wires, and you want to burn it off. So I just take my little barbecue lighter here, um, and I just burn the ends of it until they quit smoking. Be careful, cause you know you're starting a fire and all. <sighs> And so when they turn black, you're good to go. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to um, sand all the sides of the wires where you burnt it off. Because what you're doing is you're taking the coating off and then you're cleaning it up so that way these wires can make good contact uh, with the battery. And so then you want to flip it over and do the same on the back. Um, you just, yeah, you just want to make sure that they're sanded really well. The wires are really clean. And this is just a little fingernail emery board is all that is. Block, emery block. And then what you're going to do is, um, this is the same principle as then using these or the chibi, chibi actually this is just like using chibitronic lights. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to find the positive and negative and all you do is put one on one side and one on the other. And then if they light up, if it lights up, great. If it doesn't, you switch it. So see, it will light up one way but not the other. So I, this is wrong. 
So then you put it back the other way. And actually on these, this specific one here, um, there's a green side and a side with nothing on it. There's a little green dot. And the green dot, I believe, is positive. Nope, it's a lie. It's negative. The green dot is negative on these. So that's all you're going to do, though. You're just going to find your positive and negative. And then you want to, your positive side is the side that you're going to, um, your is, is the side that you want to be on the top. So, oh, well, actually, hold on. Yeah. So let me get my mind set up. But anyways, that's how you do it. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to make a little, um, let's see, I just need a little piece of, you want a, you want a piece of, um, cardstock that is about probably four times longer I would say and then what you're going to do is you're going to is that nope so you got to flip it over and it honestly it doesn't matter what way it goes up so you could even just flip the battery so if you wanted this to curve in a certain direction so basically what you're going to do is you're then going to adhere the terminal to the battery. So I'm just going to use a piece of tape for that. And then uh, I'm also then going to make sure that it doesn't move anywhere. So since we know this is, yep, that goes like that. So tape tape the positive to the back or the negative, whichever you decide to choose to use. Uh, like so. Tape that down like that. Uh, don't run it on the top though. I, I I don't suggest you putting it onto the top. Let me cut that off. Because I think it will just interfere with the uh, top contact. So then there we go there. So I'm just going to hot glue it to the to my little piece down here. My little um suitcase. My little battery suitcase I guess is what I'm going to call this. Um, I'm just going to call it a battery compartment. My little battery compartment. I'm going to put some hot glue on it and glue this down. Um, like this. And then, and then what you're going to do is, oh, this is a little bit large. Oh, you didn't need it that big. Not for this one anyhow. Oh, no, wait, that's a lie. That's right. Okay, yeah, you do need it that big. So what you want to do now is you want to tape this. You want to fold this over. And you want to tape this to the top to where it makes contact with this. And like right in the center of it. Like this. I'm just going to put another piece of tape there. Um, but actually you want to make sure that it can... You want to make sure to only put tape on the end of it. And that way it can still make contact with the battery. See? See how it's just holding it there? And it can still touch the battery with an open contact. And it lights it up like that. So then what you want to do is you actually want to curve this up. And you don't have to do it this way. You can actually put a pull tab uh, on your card. Um, and just say pull. Uh, or you can do it this way. So then what I do is I, in, instead of making it to where it sits flat, I do like a, make it curved to where it's a push button and the cardstock holds that contact up like that. And when they push it, it'll, it'll light it up. And that's what I do. So I try to make, I try to take this on the back like this to where there's a lot of play right at the top there and it's way far off the battery. So I'm going to tape this here. And I'm just using regular old scotch tape. Nothing big. Uh, try not to put it on the battery, just on the back. And then that way, see, it's not on. You When you on the top of your car, when you say push, ta-da! It'll light everything up. And so there we go there. But I'm not actually going to use this one because I need a lot more lights for mine. I want the whole night sky to light up on mine. I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do. 
That was the plan originally. Let's see, let's, I need to start taping these down. I'm just going to use scotch tape for this. And honestly, I could actually hot glue these down if I wanted. I don't want it to go out at this because this is a four by five and a quarter. And I don't want it to go outside of that. So I also need to see where I want my battery. Oh yeah, and this will fit perfect um, under. Oh, so I'll have to have a contact there as well. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put, put push over here and I'll put my battery compartment over here is what I'll do. But see, watch. Whoops. Isn't that going to be fun? This one will have twinkle lights. I didn't realize I bought twinkle lights, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? <laughs> um, I didn't have time to go get anything else. But that one right there is going to light Santa up, so I'm pretty excited about that. So we're going to, I'm just taping these on randomly, anywhere, everywhere. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can totally transform these into, um, fun light up card lights. And so when you get enough lights on your project that you're satisfied, just go ahead and cut it off right above one of the other fairy lights. So you have really long contacts. And I'm going to use this. Oh, I should have... I should have looked to see where all those lights ended up, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, that's totally fine. I'll just put that so it holds that down. So I have some twinkle ones. I have some solid ones. I'm fine with that. And so now what I want to do is I want to burn my ends. Don't forget to burn the ends. We're going to have to do some treatments on these. Try not to burn your card off. Oh, and this is hot, so be careful where you put the flame. Ah, yeah, those are hot. So then sand the little wires off. When you're done with that part, after you burn them, sand the... And then flip them over. Uh, test them. We're going to steal this battery. We can save that for a different project. So then test your batteries. Nope. Oh, see? Isn't that great? Yeah, totally cool. Okay, and so then now we're going to put our little battery compartment down here. Uh, like this. So let me tape this as well. Um, let me, we can always move it later if we want. So yeah, I'm going to put push right here on mine and try to hold my square down to here. Okay. So then let's go ahead and make another little one of these. I'm going to try to make mine only the size of the battery. Not any larger. So it doesn't take up that much room. Then I'm going to tape this to the back. Uh, one of the wires. We have to figure out which one though. Oh, perfect. This one right here. Oh, and I could probably just... I could actually probably just put this on my... I could just probably hot glue that on my project, I bet. What do we think about that? And then I could just put some foam squares. Oh, what if we just do that? Let's just do that. I'll just hot glue this up here. Is that... I mean, is that where we want it, though? Can I still... I can. I can stamp the word push there. And then I can put some foam squares around the edge. Okay, let's hot glue that there. Oh, 
that's terrific. And then that'll make it really nice for... Because um, the other thing you could actually do too is you can actually tape um, this piece back here up to the cardstock. And you can actually slide a tab. Uh, so like this. You would just put a little piece here in between this, like tape this up to this piece here. And then you could have it on your project and then have this, whoops, have this covering the battery terminal where you're, and you could say pull. And when they pulled this, it makes contact. Oh, whoops. That's why it's taped to this. It then will make contact with your project. See, like how cool is that, right? You could even do that. But we're going to do the lift up method here. Oh, I kind of wish I would have. Um, here, we'll just do this. We'll do it like this. And then I'm going to run mine over like this. Um, so I need to tape it back here. Uh, let me get some tape. You just want to make sure there's a good arch. Um to your, um, a good arch to whatever it is, where, wherever it is. Okay, so I'm going to go back here, back there, okay. And then, wait, make sure your wire's up and not down. Whoops, oh, perfect, Nugan. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, ready? Ah! So you'll just have to play around with your own design and what works for you. But I need this to make contact with that, but on only when I want it to. Okay, and so now that that's taped up, this is taped up to the top. I bent it up. Uh, oh, wait. Perfect, Nugan. Oh. So the, the, and basically what the problem is, is it, this is not over far enough for the card base. There we go. There we go. Oh, whoops. Um, for the card base. Okay, now I can push. Now I could tape this. Now I can tape this down. There we go. There we go. Now I want to put... Uh... <laughs> right? Ha <laughs> ha! Um... So what I want to do now is I want to put... The word push. Oh, right? Isn't that great? Wouldn't that be super cool? Oh, how fun is that? <laughs> okay, now I want to put the word push right here in the corner. I have, you can either handwrite it or you can, um, I have these stamps. Wait, let me find them really quick. I have these stamps from My Favorite Things that has all the different little, um, the interactive labels is what this one's called. Um, it has all the little label details. And I'm going to get the one that says push. And a little step block and some black ink. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to use my, uh, I think, Spectrum Noir. Any black ink will do. Test it. Yep, that looks good. Yay! Oh, that's super cute, right? Look at that. Push. So then I'm gonna pop some um um I'm gonna pop some foam adhesive on the back of this card here. 
think actually I'm going to pop it on here first. Um, and then that way I could kind of see where it is. Um, where I need it. Back here. Oh, I hope. Oh, let's see. I'm going to move this one down just a touch. And then. Get this off. Okay, and then I'm going to. Put it about here. Um, a little in here. And these are the uh, Stampin' Up! ones. Um, so they're pretty tall. Oh, the Heartfelt Creations ones actually are... I would, Oh, those would actually be... The Heartfelt Creations actually would be ideal. And it's primarily because they're so thick. These here are really thick. I think I am going to litter a couple around there. They are really nice. So actually I am going to pop. And they're super strong. Um, so I can get a little border there. I'm going to go there. Um, but I do want to, oh, here, I could do that right there. I bet that'll go. So we'll pop one there. These are really strong, too. So that's part of the reason I'm popping them everywhere so that card base stays on. Look good. Ha-ha. <laughs> okay, I think that's going to be good. E Whoa. Um, that is going to be good enough. So let's start peeling all these little tabs off. Or all the backers off, rather. Yeah, Stampin' Up's backers come off really nice. <gasps> oh, but I just peeled it off. Oh, darn you. Oh, come on. Well, they don't stick to this very good, do they? Rude. Oh, oh my heavens. Are you kidding me? Ugh, come on. Well, you know what? We can fix this. Well, it's not sticking to my cardstock very good. Jeez. Well, we know how to fix that, though. We will pop some art glitter glue on them. Forget it. We'll circumvent the situation. We're going to fix for everything. We'll have a little workaround. So, yeah, now that we know that... Oh yeah, gee whiz. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, I wanted this to be so quick. This is not helping it to be quick. Oh, come on. Alright, we're so putting our glitter glue on those. Try not to touch them. Come on. Okay, let's art glitter glue these babies up. Oh yeah. We'll fix this wagon. We'll get these to say whether they like it or not, huh? Rude. I'm just putting it like in the cracks and then on top of it. 
so that way when it dries, it'll all stay. It'll all be, like, stuck down. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to push the card top on. So now I'm just going to line it up. Whoops. Let's line this up. Square it up in the center. Okay, i got to get it closer. Oh, this one's not on. There we go. All those have it, though. Okay, so let's center this up. Make sure it looks nice. That looks good, right? Okay, now press it down. Make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, and then we'll just let that... Okay, and now look. Push. Ha <laughs> ha! Right? I know it has twinkle lights, but it's cool still. <laughs> right? How fun is that? So you can pretty much do that with um, any, you know, like any card um, and whatnot. But let me uh, go ahead and adhere this to my card base. And top folding. And this is a A2 size topper. So we'll just line it up at the bottom. Oh, oh it is lined up. Oh, it, oh, this is, huh. oh, my car topper wasn't all the way, but that's okay. It still looks good. And then there it is. There's a card. And then when it lights up, right? Isn't that fun? Here. <laughs> it's pretty cool, even with the little blinking ones, I think. And it lights up Santa, so that's pretty cool. I probably could add a few more around, you know, like maybe on the back of the houses. That would have been fun, but... Yeah, there it is. There you go. Quick tutorial. A little bit of, you know, um... A quick little way to use up fairy lights. Um, you can even do this with, like, if you have, um, some, like, old solar lights. Because I have these LED solar lights. Um, that you can... Those, you'll have to make sure they're probably... Because you'll have to take the the plastic off of the end of the copper wires but anything that has the two wires and not the three the three is harder but anything that has the two wires that's an led you could probably do it with but the ones from the dollar tree for a dollar you probably can't beat and they're probably similar to this so there you go there's a way to use them up let me know what you guys think of the card uh tutorial down in the comments below thanks so much for hanging out um i'm trying to get videos uploaded but YouTube is, I don't know, it's having a cow, and hopefully this one uploads, I don't know. Um, it, it hasn't been letting me upload them. Like, I have to upload them at, like, 4.30 in the morning or at, like, 9.30, 8.30, 9.30 at night, and it's like, yeah, I don't know what its little issues, because I, I try to do them, and they, it, it's like three hours, and it still isn't uploaded. It's just silly. So, anyways, I'm giving it a whirl, guys. I'm trying, but... Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're having fun in your craft room. Um, thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.